Hey everyone, it's Adrian. I hope you're having a happy Friday. I'm excited for the weekend. I have a product I'm gonna try for you. I got it from AliExpress. I'm pretty much obsessed with their stuff lately. Um, I have ordered enough that my husband is worried that I'm gonna get like investigated by customs or something. I don't know. Anyway, so this is the, some black charcoal mask situation that um, everybody's been doing. Um, I think this one that I got was like $7. I apologize for the camera shake. I've got little helpers. Anyway, so I ordered this one because it was the first one that pulled up when I googled black, not googled, when I searched on the website um, for black peel off mask. Um, there's nothing in English on here, which would be cool if I spoke whatever language this was in, which looks to be maybe Chinese, I don't know. It does say that it's not tested on animals, which is cool. But it literally says, bamboo charcoal to tear pull black mask. Like I'm not making that up. It sounds absolutely horrifying. So I want to slather it on my face now. And it's gonna be great. I can't wait. So opening the package here. I'm hoping there's instructions inside. And there's a little, this would actually make like a really good eyebrow stencil, but I'm guessing that's like a spatula. And here is my stuff. It's actually a pretty good sized container. It's a hundred grams and I'm no mathematician, so I don't know off the top of my head how much that is, but it looks like about two ounces, maybe. <gasps> Oh no, it literally looks just like, that almost went all over my computer. It looks just like this like really black, viscous, I mean, if there was such a thing as like black pancake syrup, that is what this stuff looks like. I should have worn a white shirt so you could see this junk. So. I gotta say, it does not smell fantastic. It smells like alcohol, kind of like Elmer's glue maybe, I don't really know. Anyway, so I'm gonna put this on. I took my makeup off, whoops, I took my makeup off. I will put this on and see what happens. So, here we go. I'm honestly so scared to put this on. Um, I really hope I don't turn into one of those like idiots that people make fun of because they put crap all over their face. But we're just gonna chalk this one up to you know being for science and for the good of humanity. It did have good reviews on it, so you know we can always trust things with good reviews, right? Again, it didn't come with instructions, so I washed my face. Like just basic wash it like you know nothing crazy and I'm putting it all over and then I will let it dry I have learned from seeing people other people do these masks that it will pull the crap out of your facial hair and I have really bad sideburns like let's be honest I put all this to shame some days so I am not going to go all the way to the side of my face because I just know that's going to be bad news. So, and I don't know if it's because it's been in my mailbox on a cold day, but it actually feels really nice. So I'm going to finish this up real quick.
All right, he's gonna go first because his dried because it wasn't as thick as mine. Go for it. Mm -mm, you, you do it. <laughs> Mine's not all the way dry. Do it. Oh, you want me to do it? Yep. It's not gonna be that bad. Overreacting right now. You can literally like see the tiny little like threads of funky junk. Oh no way. Okay. Pull my blackheads off. I can attest to the fact that he had some gnarly blackheads. And this didn't get all of them. But I can definitely the difference. Oh, it wasn't dry there. It's like. Let me see. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can get the camera to focus on it. All right, my turn. <laughs> There's some spots where I got it a little too thick, and I don't think they're ever gonna dry. But everything else is really like. It's tight. So, here we go. I don't. Oh. <laughs> okay, can you hear that? Well, obviously, you could hear my kids screaming, but. It has all the tiny little baby hairs on my face. Oh. 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 Okay, so if you're gonna do this, oh. oh my God. If you're gonna do this, go around your little hairline, like your baby hairs around your hairline with like Vaseline or something. Cause this is, oh, it's making my eyes water. I've done like those facial peels that are like cucumber and unicorns and kittens and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Like, let's go to our friend's house and paint our nails and do that. No, this is like, oh, let's go do black magic and make children cry and all sorts of other terrible things oh my sideburns are in it okay oh man so my skin underneath it is like red it is it is tight i am not exaggerating i think maybe the people that are like screaming about it are exaggerating it is, mm hmm okay. It definitely feels like pulling off a heavy duty band-aid and not like heavy duty band-aid that's been on for a while and got wet like, oh, dude. Oh, underneath the eye. I'm so glad they don't test this on animals. Poor bunnies. Yee. Okay, I want to do my nose last. Because that's where the pores are that I'm worried about. I don't know why I did my whole dang face. I literally think it's ripping the hairs off my face. Which, confession, I shaved my face. Because it makes your makeup go on smoother. This is made out of like crushed hopes and dreams. And every bad thing that you've ever thought about somebody. Like in a parking lot when they cut you off. Like this is karma for that. Oh, it's going to be on me for the rest of my life. It's like 
making my nose run. It hurts that bad. Okay, pro tip. Don't get it that close to underneath your eye. I'm going to do it. Over here is where it was too thick again. I just got a little crazy with the spatula they give you. Oh, my Lanta. This is... Oh, that is sick. Do you... Oh my god, you can see it. Do you see all of that? My face was clean when I put this on. I'm gonna get a picture of that, because that is intense. Okay, this is like the most metal thing I've done in a while. Do you see this, babe? Look, do you see that? Holy cow. Oh. And I thought my skin was clear, because like I never get, oh! <laughs> It kind of looks like makeup that was like deep in your pores. Makeup that was in my pores? I know. And I cleaned my face. Look at this. It's like... <laughs> Moisturize me. <laughs> oh my jeez. I feel like a character off of like Hellraiser or something. Do you see how red my skin is where it came off? Oh my gosh. Go. Go. Do you see all the dots? Oh, it smells really plasticky now. And, oh my gracious. I'm gonna put ice on my face after this. <laughs> Guys, this is, oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, oh. You can see where my makeup didn't come off of my mole. I'm surprised my mole is still there to be honest. Look how red my face is. Oh, jeez. Mom. No. Okay. Mama. Mama. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, fix it, Jesus. Okay, we're done. Oh. Okay, my eyes are white. Okay, so... It really shows how big my pores are. I didn't have... Ew, I take that back. I'll take a picture and put it at the end of the video. So, it really pulled a lot of hair off of my face. Like, where I usually will, like, razor my cheeks right here to get the little peach fuzz off. It just, like, straight took it off. And it exfoliated really well. So I'm going to get the rest of this off and go put on some lotion. Thanks for watching. Bye.